This exhibit really focuses on the life and experience of Ahmed Kathrada, who was uh, known certainly around the world, but particularly in South Africa as a, an activist for social justice and, and liberation, and was one of the leading figures of the liberation movement in South Africa that uh, led to the end of the apartheid uh, era in South Africa. In uh, 2005, uh, we had recommended him for an honorary degree from Michigan State, and he was presented an honorary humanity degree, a doctoral degree in humanities here at Michigan State. And, um, and I know it had a real impact on him. Michigan State has a long history of involvement in South Africa. It was the first university in the United States to lead the divestiture of, her, of encouraging uh, the university to, to stop any investments in corporations that were operating in South Africa during the apartheid years. Um, that movement was followed by many other universities in the United States. And the, and the MSU folks who were involved in leading that effort also made Michigan the first state to divest its interests, its stock interests in any corporation in South Africa. During that period of time, Michigan State University has always been very strong in African studies. We have 180 faculty members who work in South Africa, or in Africa, many in South Africa. And um, given his important ties to Michigan State, and given uh, the fact that his work hasn't stopped from the time he's come out of prison, um, Today, there is an effort underway to build a new museum in South Africa called the Ahmed Kathrada Museum for Non-Racialism and Democracy, and I've had the good fortune of being part of the planning group for this new museum, which will be built in, outside of Johannesburg. And so it's a story that's in a, that MSU has many connections to his life, and this is an exhibition that was developed in part with the uh, Kathrata Foundation, and we wanted to bring it also to the United States because a version of this has been touring in South Africa, and we've added more content to it uh, while it's here, and we're now touring it in the United States.